welcome back. This is episode 10, 16 stone check-in. Okay, so this is funny. The body image recording of the workout that I'm going to use is from the end of January. But I think I hit 16 stone three times. Uh, it's now the end of February when I'm recording this. And I made my, my target of mid... December hit 16 stone and then promptly gained weight. Hit it again in January, May of end of January, May have gained weight through February and then hit it again. And actually now by the end of February I'm on my way to 15 and a half stone. I think the focus I, I touched on it last time, but now there's been a series of factors correlating with weight loss and weight gain that I'm going to sort of delve into. When did I get to 16 stone? I first hit on the 17th of November, but that week I was 16 two stone and I stayed level for a fortnight before dropping four pounds in a week and the week ending the 11th of December, that was hitting my goal, my target of 16 stone, mid-December. That week, uh, I know in the last video I mentioned sort of family issues in November, those again then reoccurred, pretty intense, pretty emotionally sort of draining, and again, also coinciding with family visiting that week ending the 11th of December, achieving 16 stone, starting to put on pounds again, but of course that runs into Christmas time and while I sort of exercise as much as I could it wasn't loads and did try to limit what I was eating at least watching it but I mean it ran over a lot by the first week of January I was, I was 16 and a half stone again before I started losing it and yes week ending 22nd of January <laughs> I had hit uh, 16 stone again so the, the recording is from the following day the calorie deficit the amount of overeaten or under exercised different ways of saying the same thing was 16,000 calories I suppose what that means is if I wanted to reassert my original pathway I would have to I think right now I'm at possibly 12,000 calories over so what I would have to do to reassert my my goal over the next fortnight is say cycle an intense hour 10 mile six days of both weeks so that's 12,000 calories and then not eat anything over my 2,000 each day in the way I do on the Fridays and Saturdays so that's like two weekends of just fairly regular eating a flash diet, I guess. Two weeks intense exercise and no overeating. And that would be cleared. But I would probably lose about 10 pounds in those two weeks. That's, it's probably not, not ideal. So I've been toying with the idea of just cancelling that deficit and starting from where I'm starting from. And I wonder, because this is, this is good, I mean, basically by the end of this year 2023 uh, I hope to be at my goal turning stone or 180 pounds whatever so I'll be entering into Christmas where from looking at this chart I expect to you know get to 13 stone before Christmas <laughs> come out of Christmas with a 13 being 13 and a half stone then I just need to lose that half stone and I, I don't need to I'm not on the same I'm not in the same situation that I'm in right now so uh, where I'm looking to lose three stone over a year it's good to know that it's good to expect that certainly then i will clean that slate and i guess i guess now if i'm just doing this for another year at this stage another three quarters of the year i don't really need to think about this cleaning the slate thing just let it run and this whole chart system that i've got going will probably be far less necessary it would just be a matter of making sure in a week that i'm eating what i want and burning what i want getting to the end of January, hitting 16 stone again, recording off video, and then again related with the issue beginning in October, November. I think this is the, f the 
fourth spike. I wonder, can you see these spikes? So there's a, a bump in my way in October, then the end of November, then the end of December, and then the end of January. While the December one is a whopper, <laughs> mega spike. That's Christmas as well. But the October, November, including December, you can't see because of Christmas. And then the January one, the spikes in weight are related to sort of emotional events that caused me to that, that disrupt the sort of uh, weight loss pathway that I'm on. Basically, if you have a balance of I roughly need to eat 10,000 calories a day because I eat in, intake to 2,000. I say 10,000, 2,000 calories a day because I roughly burn 2,000 calories just by living a day. But I would like to eat more than 2,000 calories a day. So I would either put on weight <laughs> or I have to burn those 10,000 calories to regain that balance. So that so there's like your three factors, intake, burning, and weight gain. So you intake or you intake calories so you either burn it or you gain weight and you can mix and match with those three factors in balance but considering the last four months emotionality and maybe this is just me but emotionality is as material as calorie intake or calorie outtake or weight gain it is a fourth factor that needs to be balanced here if i'm spending like the way i spend calories if i spend my emotional capacity imagine it's i uh, i wake in a day my day my daily baseline emotional spending is 2000 just for the sake of illustration if something upsetting happens then that 2000 baseline will add another 500 emotional points or emotional calories onto that baseline so it's 2,500. So that extra 500 either translates into weight gain or is, or or has to be burned. Except that you're not burning it like a calorie, but that relationship between weight gain and emotionality is mediated by, yes, by actual calorie intake. This extra 500 emotionality translates into an extra 500 calorie intake, which then needs to either be burnt or translates as weight gain. This experience over the last four months, these particular weeks where these sort of bits of stress basically were intense. You know, this this isn't this isn't a, a plateau of stress I've had for four months. These are a day in a particular week where which led to a week of increased eating as de as I dealt with that stress. And they, they translated in, in, in weight gain. Ah, I don't know how much of that, because like in the last video, I, I showed that I was able to exercise my way out of that deficit that I gained in that in that period. So I think this 12,000 or, well, uh, 16,000 and which is 16,000 peak, but which is now 12,000 peak, that, that's Christmas. <laughs> that's just to enjoy myself. I don't know, I suppose the message there is that that emotional factor, at least for me, maybe people can deal with it better, or maybe people deal with it in different ways. But for me, that is, and not maybe, that's that's definite, right? Not everyone just gains weight because the stress. Actually, a lot of people lose weight when the stress. In fact, I remember a couple of years ago something quite intense happening, and I rapidly lost weight with the intensity of the stress. But in your sort of maybe in more milder stressful situations yeah and definitely it's quite clear here that i'm prone to overeating or under exercising maybe disrupting that uh, journey so anyway end of january i spent two weeks putting on weight or certainly not losing weight and then mid-february after that fortnight dropping it because of course i suppose in that short term emotional eating period you're not putting on actual like core weight as such but you are you're not giving your body the chance to expel the shit that you are eating so three weeks 15th of january and 229 pounds 12th of february so roughly a month i'm 221 pounds that's seven pounds in four weeks that i've lost even though i go from 29 229 to 224 225 226 and then back down almost um 221 pounds by the end of feb so that 221 pounds basically is where i'm at now i'm actually being the 26th of february i'm uh, i just have an average of 219 pounds so i am um, i expect to get 15 stone by the end of 
paper. Okay. I'd really like to hear from people that are on similar pathways, anyone with tips. Part of this is to sort of reach out to people, connect with people, do similar things. If you got anything to say, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if you like it, apparently it helps to hit like. And hopefully over the next couple of months, I will do more about the cycles that I'm doing. I just am. Um, I'm back from a 40 mile cycle, which is the first time I've done over 25 26 miles and that took three and a half hours I was really chuffed with it and hopefully over the next couple of months I'm going to get that Forza and also the recording equipment to be able to record trips oh and I know I'll, uh, the camping gear episode will be before this but to actually put the camping into action on a wild camp after a cycle that's coming up yes so subscribe for all that thanks